Hello guys, in this video we'll be looking at the autosomal DNA predicted phenotype traits of a medieval Viking woman from Sweden. This woman was actually a warrior and she caused a big fuss because nobody in the scientific community could accept the fact that a woman could be a warrior in the Viking society. This is her predicted phenotype. With Nashakot, she is predicted to have green color eyes, snub shaped nose and blonde hair. As you can see, this is how I depicted her hair. And with Snipper Free, she is predicted to have blue color eyes, blonde hair and white skin. She had BH1 and BH2, which means that with 23andMe, she would be predicted to have blue eyes. Uh, but her status for BH4 and BH3 is not determined because the sample was pretty low quality. She did not have derived East Asian EDAR, so no East Asian facial traits, no shovel-shaped incisors or epicanthic folds, and um, she had the European no-go learner mutation in DRD2, which decreases the odds of schizophrenia and increases the odds of somebody being a no-go learner. And she also had the warrior with the IE genotype in Comte's Valmet variation, which I determined through another variation also in Comte. Um, Basically, I imputed her genotype here, and the application of this warrior genotype is that she would have higher dopamine levels and advantages in memory and attention tasks, however, they come with the cost, which is disadvantages in stress resiliency. And although I can't say for sure because she wasn't genotyped for the main variation that has to do with lactose persistence, she most likely had the European lactose persistence mutation. And she did not have hemochromatosis mutation, which is also what I call the Celtic curse. It's not only I, it's uh, multiple people call it the Celtic curse because uh, it's a very prevalent condition in Celtic people. When it comes to polygenic traits, she had a pretty high risk score for brain aneurysm. Um, she also had a very low risk score for type 2 diabetes, a very low risk score for Parkinson's disease, and a very low risk score for coronary heart disease. And this is what she scores with Eurogenes K13 on GED match. Uh, quite an interesting result for a Swedish person, maybe a little bit more southern than what's typical. Uh, and she's actually closest to Orcadians here with the Oracle. She's getting modeled as a mixture of Swedish plus French Basque, so this is where the southern kind of component, she's a little bit more shifted towards the Basque region relative to what's typical for Swedes. So these are the G25 coordinates for the sample that I made myself using Roll to Sim tool from Explore Your DNA. Uh, you will not find G25 coordinates for her anywhere else besides my channel, and they will be in the description. What's interesting with these coordinates is that she's closest to Nor Irish, followed by Norwegians. Um, she's actually pretty Celtic in terms of ancestry. This is what she scores with MDLPK23B. Interesting, she's scoring 1.2% archaic human, which is kind of the like monkey or Neanderthal, or just kind of really archaic component. Uh, surprising that she scores this, but with the Oracle, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Central European plus some, some groups in South Asia, and she's actually scoring some South Indian and uh, Papuan too with the uh, Harappa world, as with every other calculator actually, and she's closest to Arcadians here. Uh, with the Oracle, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Orcadian plus Russian or Orcadian plus Finnish, so kind of a mixture of Orcadian, which is pretty high. Orcadians, from my understanding, have already a high Viking admixture. And uh, this is what she scores with PanDNA LK10. Now, I think this result is so weird because there really wasn't uh, many SNPs even used in the calculation, right? So you got to look at the number of SNPs used. I think here it was like 5K. Uh, with the Oracle, because of the high VHG, she's closest to Belarusians and Estonians. Uh, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Lithuanian plus Vietnamese. But this is just kind of nonsense because the reason she's scoring the reason her oracles look like this is because she has too much western hunter gatherer and the reason she has too much western hunter gatherer is because this was a low quality file this is what she scores with ancient eurasia k6 once again another very low quality prediction only 2k snps used uh it's not a valid result whatsoever and this is what she scores with Gidrose k3 here the result is a little bit more legitimate because it was like a 4k or 5k still still a very low quality prediction i think we should just stick to the uh, G25 results, G25 coordinates for the sample. And with the G25 coordinates, it's pretty much a typical Northwestern European. She's mostly Yamne, around half Yamne, and the other half uh, European farmer plus Western hunter gatherer. Now, thank you guys for watching my video until the end. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. And if you enjoy what I do here on YouTube in general, do consider subscribing. And uh, you can also find the link to download this file in the description.